welcome to CJ Why Money Entertainment. And if you're a viewer or a cruiser, I'm CJ. And on Fridays, we talk about topics that is discussed in a lot of the social media. Or people ask me these questions. So, if you have a topic that you think you may want me to discuss, in my description below is my email. Email me a topic and see if I'm willing to discuss it. Or you can hit me up in YouTube Messenger or any of my comments on my social medias. The only topics that I will not talk about basically is religion and politics. It's too much stuff already being talked about that. And I do keep it real on the topics. So let's get into today's topic. I was asked, hey, how do you know when someone has too many pets? And I thought I would be great on that topic because I've had dogs, cats, rabbits, chicks, turtles, birds. So I figured, hey, since I've had all of these as a child coming up to adulthood, I figured I can handle this topic. So let's start like this. When you go to someone's house for the first time and you knock at the door, they open up the door and you don't know that they have any pets and you say, wow, how many pets do you have? You got too many pets. They can smell the odor of your animals in your house. And you may say, well, it don't stink to me. Well, the reason why it doesn't stink to you is because you're used to the odor. But if you got all of these pets and somebody is saying that and they twist their nose up like this, you may have too many pets. Another thing is we always forget as a child we teach our children, and we have been taught as a child, that you have to take care of your pets. Feed them, and clean up their poop, and clean up their mess. Clean up the mess, and feed them. And that's what we do to get pets. Most of us always started out with a fish. You know why? Because it's the cheapest. They die, you flush them down, you get another one. Water, parents already paid for the water. But we forget when we get older and we still want all these pets. That pets is more than just something to love and to feed and clean up behind this mess. Pets got medical bills. Dogs and cats is almost like humans. They can have anywhere from cancer, bad heart, hip problems, blindness, and they got to get their shots. If they don't get their shots, they get sick. So you got all of this besides if you got to, they got to get their hair cut, their nails done. If you got something like a turtle, then you may not have to worry about things like that. But even if you got a guinea pig, which really doesn't have many health problems, it's still to get them good checked once a year. Birds need their beak, their wings, sometimes throat surgery if they talk. So, if you cannot afford your animals, all your animal care, so if the dogs is just getting the shots and the cats ain't, then you may have too many animals. If your animals are coming to visit other neighbors in drones and they're sitting at neighbors' doors like, I I've dealt with this. You got too many animals. They're trying to escape. They're going next door. They're not lost because they're sitting on the porch. They want a meal and they want to be let into the new people home. So if you got animals and they're going to visit your other neighbors, you got too many animals. They're trying to escape. Let me give you another idea. If you're living on a farm and the barn is your house, I'm not saying you don't have your little pet goat come in and, you know, your rabbits come in, but I'm saying they're living with you, with you in the house. Then 
You got too many animals. They should not be living with you in your house. They need their own space. They are animals. They love you, but they need their own room. So, hit me up in a comment. Do you know somebody who's got too many animals? How do you know that they got too many animals? You know what time it is. It's Friday, and I'm tired. And guess what? I'm getting another storm. So I'm out. Peace.